All right, it's that time once again for another Owl of Conquest, April the 9th, 2022. Looks like we got 10 Maniacs or so up in the house, and we're going to head into the hangar, of course, the node that cannot die. That's why Blizzard needs to redo the map. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. Ice Wall is up there. We are getting to the flag. We did make it up the hill. Thank you. That's always nice, man. Problem is, if they uh, get to the top of that hill first and they put up their traps and ice walls and ring of pieces, we're stuck down the hill and there's no way we can even make it to the flag, let alone get it kept. We're finishing trying to wipe this tank on the flag. Tank goes down finally. They have pushed him away. I capped the flag. Loot somebody there. Push it into him again. Let's get these targets down. Make sure you take out the seeds. Here's a healer that needs to go down. Kidney DR. Finish him. Nope. Hunter goes down. Mage blinks away. Sometimes you got to get out of there and go for the next thing. So let's take out this warlock in the back. We have the docks. Interesting. We're going to bring some glaives up to hangar. I'm glider after this guy, man. There's no way I'm going to get away with that low of health. Jeez. Oh, dies in midair from the bone spike. <laughs> you got to love that. Oh, he pops back up again. He wants to go down again? Hey, I'll oblige. I'll take that second kill. Loot the dead-ass body there. They got demos leaving now. They're heading to the base. They got on the front gate? Hmm. Interesting. Both cannons are, can hit them from either side of our base right now. I don't know. If you attack the side bases, you only have to worry about three cannons. You attack the front gate, you got to worry about six cannons. So, I don't know. I guess it has its pros and cons depending on what nodes you have on the map. They have taken the docks back now, so we will have to start looking at the glaive soon. Nice fire right there. Put it on top of the demo. I'm starting to do some massive damage to this demo. It's going to go down. Bye bye I have Cloak of Shadows. What am I doing? I'm typing and, and dying because of that. <laughs> Sometimes that's how it is, right? That glaive's history easily. Let's get this one down next. Pump some massive damage. Got Shadow Blades up. This is not Dragon Fight, so you don't have that extra, you know, full combo points every uh, Shadow Strike. But it was enough anyway. I'll take the kill. Doesn't matter if I get away. You always try to run away, but if you don't get away, who cares, right? And we're going to see what's going on with mid, maybe. Yep, got to take out the Guardian first. I'm going to try and cap. Nope. <laughs> nope. Try to fake out. They got too many down here. We need more people. Come on. Then again, we don't want to have everyone glider down from hangar either. <laughs> that will make hangar very, very vulnerable. We do not want that for sure. Stealth Taco is going to go ahead and vanish. Paladin's bubbled there. Come on. Ring on top of the flag. Try and cap. No, <laughs> it's not ready to cap yet. Mr. Beef's going to go down easy. I'll take that killing blow. Hunter is trying to go ahead and get stuck in a shadowy duel here. It's not going to kill him, and he's going to use turtle as well. They got demos now. Probably should be putting more attention on taking out the demos, to be honest. At this point, bear tanks were almost unkillable back during this expansion too. So that was probably a bad move there, fighting the bear. But that's all right. Head back over to docks because they got everybody at mid. <laughs> Nobody can defend the glaives if they're all at the workshop, right? Will the Forsaken that fear? And we can just put some more backstabs. This one is history there. I have Cloak and Vanish. I'm not going to use it if I don't have to. Sometimes you can just run over here and get in the water and they won't chase you. They're not even chasing me anyway. I got to re-stealth. <laughs> all right. And they got a demo that's going to come over here and try to help guard their glaives. Oh, we capped docks. That's what happened. Yep. Yeah. Make sure this docks holds. Whenever you do cap docks, if it doesn't hold and they recap it, they get three brand new glaives. Priest pops dome. Got to wait for that, right? How long does that dome last? I don't even know, to be honest. There it goes. Finally, it's gone. Hey, we got glaives. Let's get into a glaive. Come on. There we go. Oh, he already died before I could get the hit. <laughs> hey, I made the glaive all the way over to, to the gate. The gate's already down anyway. Huh. Well, that sucked. I wanted to get some damage on the gate, too. 
that's too bad. We've got their graveyard tapped. It's time for all in now. This vehicle here is pretty much done for. See if I can get a couple hits on the warrior maybe. 15k back in Shadowlands. I guess that was okay. 18k. Probably get more if you get a direct hit. Uh, no, not it doesn't seem like it. The tank, you can get more on the tank, but the tank just used his Crusader run there and ran all the way in before I could get another hit. Hey, they're up in the boss room. Free kills with the boss. Both of them down. Now we can just finish off the boss now. There we go. This is a win now. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's pretty much been a win the entire match, right? We can't lose at this point, I think was the main point I was trying to make. There's no way they're going to come back in the base and stop us from taking out the boss now. Even if they brought all their vehicles and all their people, we can drop the boss 50% easily. Pop the evasion there to help save some of our pressure from the healers. And 40%. Yep. Another one in the history books. Not too bad, man, with only about 10 or so members. They just put a tap on the graveyard back in their base, but it's too late now. Boss is in execute range and kill shot range. They got a few people coming in to try to put some damage on us, but no one is here that can heal their boss, so they're in trouble. Hey, take out the Demon Hunter first. Demon Hunter is down from all that AoE. The boss is going to run out of the room. The boss HP doesn't reset if they run out of the room, so it doesn't matter. 1%. Bye-bye, High Commander. Nice game, man. Looks like the top killing blows was Kling, 14-0, the Hunter. May all of your random battlegrounds be epic. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Until next time, GG for the Horde.